Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on the simple way to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. So this is a technique you can use if you don't have the HEF and LCM functions available on your calculator. We're going to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 60 and 96. We're going to start by inputting those digits as a fraction, 60 over 96, and the calculator will simplify that for us to 5 eighths. Now what we're going to do is to compare these two fractions that we have here. Now there is a common factor that takes 60 to 5, and it would be the same factor that takes 96 to 8. And that factor is 12, we can work it out by doing 60 divided by 5 on the calculator. If we do the same, 96 divided by 8, that's also 12, and that is in fact the highest common factor of 60 and 96. Let's write out that fraction again, and this time what we're going to do is to flip the simplified fraction so that we have its reciprocal. So in this particular case we have 8 fifths or 8 over 5. Well if I compare the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction together, if I multiply them, if I do 60 times 8, that will give me 480. And I'll also get the same number if I do 96 multiplied by 5. And that is in fact the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple. So in this particular case, 480 is the least common multiple of 60 and 96. Let's try that again, this time with 91 and 35. So make a fraction, this time I've got the larger number on the top, but it shouldn't matter, provided that my comparison fraction is also top heavy and I keep the top and bottom the same. So comparing the two fractions, we can see that the highest common factor between them is seven. Let's flip the second fraction or the comparison fraction around so that we have the reciprocal 5 thirteenths and we can either multiply the two top numbers together or the two bottom numbers together. It should be the same result and that will give us our lowest common multiple. So there we go, another method to find the HCF and LCM, particularly if you don't have those functions. I know there's lots of other different ways, for example, finding the product of prime factors, but here's another way that you can do that. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.